enhanced automatic emergency braking systems like that are going to become mandatory in all new vehicles in the United States in just five years. This is the most significant change to safety standards we've seen in years. I'm gonna tell you all about what this means for you and your car or your truck in just a second, but first I wanna thank my subscribers for voting for this story as the bonus this week. If you wanna to vote too, make sure you subscribe to my page during my next live event, or you can follow these steps and you can subscribe right now. Okay, for the last few years, car manufacturers have been offering this automatic braking technology. It relies on onboard cameras and radars and sensors to help drivers prevent crashes. It will visually alert a driver if they're coming up too fast on another car or on a pedestrian. It can make noise and sometimes vibrate the seat to notify the driver. And it also will automatically apply the brakes if all else fails. But under the current rules, it's not mandatory to have this tech installed in vehicles, and most automakers that do have it install a lower speed version of the tech. Well, this new rule makes the automatic emergency braking technology mandatory and establishes a higher performance standard for the tech. The new rule from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, which is part of the Department of Transportation, says Automatic emergency braking, not just for vehicles, but for pedestrians too, must become standard on all passenger cars and light trucks by September of 2029. The Department of Transportation says this system must give all vehicles the ability to stop and avoid contact with a vehicle in front of them up to 62 miles an hour and must be able to detect pedestrians in both daylight and in darkness. The new standard also requires that this emergency braking system apply the brakes automatically up to 90 miles an hour when a collision with a lead vehicle is imminent and up to 45 miles an hour when a pedestrian is detected. This new rule will apply to nearly all US light vehicles with a weight rating of less than 10,000 pounds. And of course, if you have a vehicle that was produced before before this new rule kicks in, this will not apply to your car. It's not like the government's gonna come and take it from you. No, this will only apply to new cars and trucks produced after September of 2029. So why is this happening? Well, one, a 1966 law gives this government department the power to regulate design, construction, performance, durability, and safety of all vehicles that are allowed to be produced and put on the roads in the United States. On top of that, in 2021, Congress ordered the Department of Transportation to establish this new safety standard for emergency automatic braking in the bipartisan infrastructure law. And more importantly, it's happening because DOT says this technology will save at least 360 lives a year and prevent at least 24,000 injuries. But the thing is, this automatic emergency braking technology is not perfect. As of today, it can sometimes have problems working in extremely bright light or heavy rain or snow and darkness. Car manufacturers are already complaining that the technology is going to have to significantly improve in order for them to be able to comply with these new rules by 2029. And some critics are also not happy about it because they say the standards don't take into account safety of bicyclists or people on scooters. But regardless, this looks like it's happening by 2029. So if you wanna read this rule for yourself, I will email it out to you tonight in my News Girl News Roundup email, so make sure you sign yourself up.